Hi guys, I'm some of you may know. On February 1st is World Read Aloud Day. Of course, I'm going to read for you. But first, I'm going to tell you a bit about the books that I have read in January. So, I've read eight books in January. Some are Wimpy Kid and some are Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew is a new series to me, but I've stuck with Wimpy Kid a long time. Trust me. The, the Wimpy Kid books I read were Diary of a Wimpy Kid or King Ball, which is the one I'm holding right now. Um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid with Roderick Rules. And last but of course not least, we know there's more. The, uh, so there's Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Ugly Truth. The, the, then after there's Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Third Wheel. And then, well, after this, Raul Jefferson's awesome friendly spooky stories. You may, if you, if you are a Wimpy Kid fan, you may have heard in Raleigh in the Wimpy Kid series, but they, they, this is where Raleigh takes over instead of Greg. Just in case you don't know. Anyway, that's that's the Wimpy Kid books I've read. And now on to the Nancy Drew. The Nancy Drew books are all about mysteries and never figure out who done it until the very end y yep carolyn keen is a really good author anyway the books i read are nancy drew clue book pool party puzzler the the crime someone put fake snakes all around all, all around dj's backyard and the shocking twist at the end, it was Deidre, because there was a queen mermaid at a party and she wanted to be the only mermaid. Eh? Anyway, then also I have Na Nancy Drew Clue Book, Last Lemonade Standing. Uh, and that's where did they think someone has stole this top secret, top secret recipe for pink lemonade. But really, he, Nancy used to Presto Pen. If, if you write, if you want to write a secret message, it fades. No one even stole it. What? What? So it wasn't really who done it in that one. It was it done it, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's Nancy, and then there's Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew buggy breakout. So this is where someone, so someone steals the, um, so someone's bug because that's why the name is buggy breakout. If you heard. So, anyway, someone stole a bug, a bug club member's most valuable pet bug. Can the clue crew, can Nancy and the clue crew find her before she's ensnared in some evil web? And the good news is they did, but it was their beloved classmate Luna. And then last up, we we have Nancy Drew Dark. Diaries Once Upon a Thriller. It's where they went to Avondale and uh, and someone burned down the bookstore. I can't really remember who done it, but you'll figure that out. Now, back to World of Read Aloud Day. You thought I forgot, didn't you? But I didn't. And now I'll be reading from you one of my favorite One Piquette books. Well, out of the five or a million. That... With Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the Wrecking Ball. Here's the Wrecking Ball, you can see. And and here is Greg Berry, and then he's all that word. Roger wouldn't even notice it because he's a sleeping champion. Like my mom. So, uh, ever since they opened up that wall, we've been finding mouse droppings on our kitchen counters. So that means the mice are living out in the open now. Mom says we can't leave any food lying around because then the mice will get up on the surfaces where we eat. So we've been trying to keep everything really clean. And I've been putting our snacks in places where the mice can't get them. That's been looking up ways to get rid of mice that won't hurt them. But Roderick has his own ideas for what to do. He wants to buy a snake and let nature take its course. When mom asks Roderick once we, once we do, once the snake had eaten the mice, he said we'd buy a mongoose to catch the snake. So remind me to not visit Roderick's house when I'm older. The mice aren't our only problem though. We've got wasps in the house now. 
Mom found one crawling on the mantle above the fireplace last night, and there was another one flying around the kitchen this morning dr during breakfast. Breakfast! We can't figure out how they're getting inside because we've been keeping the window shut and don't open the front door unless we have to. Mom says they could be coming in from underneath the tarp that's covering the side of the house. So she sent that out there tonight to make, to make sure there aren't any gaps where they're getting through. But Dad wasn't happy about it because there was a thunderstorm. I would have helped him, but I was afraid of being struck by lightning. At school, Albert Sandy told us about this kid who got hit by a lightning while he was at a canoe, and now he's supercharged with electricity. I hope you enjoyed the little bits of the Wimpy Kid book, Wrecking Ball, that, that I read you, and I hope, and I hope that inspires you to start the Wimpy to start the Wimpy Kid series too. And if you're interested in Wimpy Kid, I think you might like the Nancy Drew or Hardy Boys. Go check them out. That's it for me. Happy World Read Aloud Day, everyone.